Hey guys, welcome back to True Tutorial and in this video, I'm going to show you how to type on lines in Word without them moving so or splitting. So what you want to do once you're writing in Microsoft Word, the normal thing that happens is that if you make a line and how you make a line is basically, let me go ahead and remove this one, is you want to go ahead and press shift that you, go, you press that underscore key and it's going to basically make the line. You continue to press it and it makes the line for you. Now, if you want to type on that line, let me go ahead and say, I want to type, type the word type, right? So as you can see, once I type on it, it actually start to make the split for me. And you can go ahead and you can highlight, for example, the text. And if you click, for example, the underline, you will see that it can, it will try to make it for you, but you can do it one way like this, or I'm going to show you another way. So you can basically write the text as an underline text, and that also works, right? So, so let's say I want to type the word type here, and I want to underline it. I can type the word type, and I can simply click the underline, and you see that it actually makes the underline. But the thing about that is that you want to go ahead and click the drop down here and kind of make the line how you want. You can make it a little bit more thick like that if you want that to be like that. Or you can do come here to more underlines or you can go ahead and change the colors and so forth. So you can click more and you can basically find more. You can make the size as you wish and, and so forth. So this is one workaround how to make an underline, uh, let's say, text and to not have it split. Another way how you can do that is instead of typing on the line and using the underscore, like I showed you this, you can make the underscore line just like this, as I showed you, by simply go ahead and press the shift plus underscore and it's gonna make that line for you. And once you go ahead and make that line, you can go ahead and go to insert and you can easily click and for example, the shapes and make a text box. Then draw the text box. Now the thing is, when you draw the text box, it shows you just like that, but you don't want it to be like that, right? You wanna ensure that once you draw the text box, you go back to where you have shape fill. It's under the shape and drawing here. So you go to shape fill, and you basically click on no fill, and you go to the shape outline, and you basically click no outline. Right, so once you click off, you will not see it, but if you click there, you'll find it. And you can just type whatever you want. So for example, I want to type the word word here as an example. Then I can easily go ahead and make the same size. So the size here was 20. So I can simply highlight this word and I can go back to home and just put the size in to 20. And the word was also bold. So now once I have that word, I can adjust it and I can actually move it by simple hover over it and move it in line or right over to that line so that it's in line with my text. And you can let it go, right? And just press your up and down key to ensure that it actually fits, you know, nicely on that line. Now once you do that, you can have it just like this guy. So this is a way how you can easily go ahead and make another line. So it's really up to you. These are two different options. So if you want something more like this, you can follow this step by making the text box after doing the underscore. And if you just want it simple as this by just simple making the typing of the text and just press the underscore and choose your type of line and you can always go into more lines and change the width and si change the size of your line and all those different good stuff, yeah. Mm, basically, that's it. That's how you can easily go ahead and type lines in Word without them moving or splitting. These are the two options that you have. It's very easy and very simple.